Now, I want to just briefly touch on this. It's called the trick of tolerance. And I think it's important because oftentimes, um, I think one of the reasons why relativism has become so popular is because um, of the fear or the awkwardness of saying that we think uh, we're right while others are wrong. You know, we're, we're afraid of being labeled uh, intolerant is what it's. This is the, the this is, this fear I think is, is unjustified because people are confused about what tolerance actually is. And I'm just gonna fly through these two definitions, but this is, a, this, is this makes me sad, right? You, when you get called, you're intolerant. You know, uh, it doesn't make you feel good, but maybe you're holding up to a certain belief. Maybe you're saying abortion is wrong, or maybe you're saying uh, marriage is for one man and one woman, or maybe you're saying Islam is false, or, or maybe you're saying uh, and, and anything else about uh, any of the social issues that we're wrestling with as a society and a culture today. You get labeled as intolerant. Anytime you take a moral stand, it sometimes feels like. But it's a misunderstanding and a misapplication of the definition, the true definition of tolerance. Culturally speaking, we want to believe that tolerance is total agreement with people, accepting of all ideas. More than accepting, it's actually lent itself now to affirming all ideas. But the real definition, and this is one for you guys to think about, of tolerance is to recognize and respect others' beliefs and practices without sharing them. That's key, without sharing them, to bear or put up with, to put up with someone or something not necessarily liked. That's important for us to understand. Next time somebody says that you're intolerant, ask them what they mean by intolerant. Because in order for me to tolerate something, I have to not enjoy it. <laughs> I have to not agree with it. I have to not like it. That's, a, that's the very definition of tolerance.